Good afternoon. What is going on, everybody? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and optimize your Google local service ads. Google local service ads, for those who are familiar, is a great way where you can actually pay Google, not just per click, per phone call, but per lead, legitimate lead, so you can actually grow your business. And this is a great substitute, guys, uh, from Google search ads, Google smart ads that you're still paying per impression and per click. It's not necessarily per lead. And like I mentioned, great way to grow your business. So if you're a real estate agent, doctor, et cetera, there's a certain list of criteria and categories that the Google local service ads services. However, if you are someone who is not in those certified uh, categories, be patient. And I'm sure Google in the future will definitely allow uh, what you do uh, for the most part. Uh, as you can see here, there's a laundry list of different services. I'm not going to go into this as we speak, but what I will do is take the role as a real estate agent, let's say, and if I'm looking to set this up, what am I going to do? What documents do I need? What budget do I need? Uh, what targeting is required to ultimately get the most amount of uh, efficiency and most amount of leads for my business. So let's get started. So what you want to do is go to ads.google.com and you can put in this really simple, or you can just Google, Google local service ads. That's even easier too. <clears throat> what you're going to do is hit get started. So what you're going to be prompted to go through this three-step checklist. Okay. So in this case, I'm in Pennsylvania zip code category. Yeah, let's say I'm a real estate agent. Let's say I'm a basic one man band, one man show real estate agent, just looking to grow my business. And so real estate check eligibility, create account, continue creating a new account. And this is the service number, the 844 number. So if you guys want to go and check that out, um, this is a great way where you can contact Google. The, the really interesting thing is, you know, this is probably the only phone number gang that Google has that you can contact them with. So definitely take them uh, up on that. Take advantage of this. This is a great way where you can contact Google. If you have any questions on setting up your ads, setting up uh, anything in regards to LSA. I know with the Google business profiles, there is no support team, unfortunately. But as you can imagine, it's a free account. Uh, you guys are paying for this. So it's obviously advantageous for Google to have a support number because there's just more money involved. All right. So let's get started. So again, I'm just making a fictitious name here just to show you guys everything. So I'll just do, uh, you know, Sean Boyle team. Fill all this out. Let's say I was a agent 2020, English is the language, Pennsylvania is the state. Is this location that customers can visit like a store or office? So this is a good question because if you have an office space and you'd like people to actually go to the office to do transactions, some agents, they have their office where it's solely dedicated for doing transactions, buyers or sellers. So if I have an office, I might consider actually putting in yes, because um, it's the truth, number one. And number two, it's actually going to make you look better online. All right. So I'll just hit yes for now. We can wait. And now we are going to hit and set up the service areas. So what areas do you want to cover? What areas do you not want to cover? So let's just say for you know sake of, of this, I really just wanted to focus on Philadelphia. I don't want to focus on anything outside of Philadelphia County for the most part. So I will do some, something along the lines of maybe Philadelphia County, right? So this way I'm kind of doubling down on what uh, what I am here in, in Philly. Um, but let's just say I wanted to exclude certain areas. Like if I wanted to exclude uh, New Jersey as a whole, so this entire state, I wanted to just famoosh, get rid of it. You could do that. If you wanted to uh, exclude a certain area, so if I just didn't want to do anything in Ardmore, I could do that too. As you can scroll all the way down here, it puts it in red. Everything in blue is good to go. So let's just say this is how I will um, move forward. 
And the next thing is the services you offer. So are you a, uh, an agent who is focuses on buyers? Are you an agent who focuses on sellers? Are you focused on new construction? Are you focused on the big luxury, uh, luxury properties, you know, million dollar properties, et cetera? Or are you focused on the first time home buyers? People who, you know, maybe they're starting up a family. Maybe they are uh, just looking to get their first uh, home under their belt. Maybe they're looking to do investment properties. You know what I mean? So definitely um, you, know, you can select what you want here. Property management as well, rentals. Seasoned agents, you probably won't do rentals because obviously there's not that much money in it. However, I still know a decent amount of people who've been in the business for a pretty long time and they do rentals intermittently. So, you know, just take this with, uh, you know, caution, I would, I want to say. Um, the next thing is you're going to agree to this, obviously making sure that uh, you have a license for the work that you do. So this is kind of leading into my next thing is you guys are going to need to have a real estate license, obviously. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that, but obviously you're going to need to have a license. You're going to need to have a, because uh, you're going to be a part of a brokerage, obviously. So broker's insurance, you're going to need a um, insurance from uh, you yourself <clears throat> and a bunch of other stuff too. So if I just wanted to put nine to six here, I'll just put that so you can set up your hours of operation, whatever works best for you. So that's totally fine. If you want to um, put in, well, I'll get to this in a second. So what you'll do is click the onboarding terms here. Make sure you read through that. You're going to hit next. And then what's going to happen is you're going to be prompted, guys, to go to this verification okay so calls are going to be routed to the 610 number this is my cell uh this isn't my email but um i guess i don't really want to give out my email but i did give out my cell so whatever uh but sean at needmomentum.com this is my email it's just campus c i don't know how that got there but anyway um this is how i'm going to be contacted and now like i was talking about you're going to be uh required to set up a background check proof of insurance billing information all that stuff budget head uh, shot all the stuff so Really, what I would do is if you're someone who is, you know, you're, you're very busy and you, you know, are kind of, I don't want to say procrastinate, but you, you know, I'd say procrastinate, take a little bit to, you know, get these documents. I would just recommend contacting your broker immediately and getting this done because Google, I will say, guys, does take a little bit of time to actually check the background, check the proof of insurance check the business license, all these things, right? So what I would recommend is just knock it out as soon as you create the profile, call your broker up, call whoever you got to call up to get these documents and make it happen, right? The other thing too is remember, you have an 844 support number. So for whatever reason, they're taking longer than I want to say maybe about two weeks to verify you. Do yourself a favor, call this number. It's really helpful. I've used it for other clients and um, it's great. I mean, they really match you with someone who is uh, knowledgeable in the Google local service ads you know, business. So this is uh, great stuff at the end of the day. But what I want to do is I don't obviously want to wait two weeks to show you guys what this looks like once it's filled out. So what we're going to do is actually go into another account that I have, right? Where you will essentially see if you're a real estate agent, what this looks like okay so what you're going to do is you're going to go into your account as you can see here we have so many different accounts so i'll just go to one that is verified that is spending that is getting good leads which one do i want to pick um we can do this one for the time being so here, uh, where you see leads, well, before I do that, let me go to the business verification. So as you can see, this particular person, they have everything. Um, the one thing that they actually need to do is uh, re-verify their proof of insurance. But as you can see, everything is verified. Everything is verified across the board. That's going to prompt you to obviously get leads. As you can see, this lead here. Um, which again, it's been a while since we've been running uh, local service ads, but this is a example of a lead where, as you can see, this lead was not charged because Google uh, Google's AI deemed it as not being a valuable lead. That's why it was not um, charged, right? If this was charged, this would be in Google's eyes, a good lead to contact, okay? But this person didn't contact them. So we're gonna archive this lead to tell that uh, the Google local service ads team know that this is not a good lead. You want to do this. You want to manage your leads, guys, as much as possible and be as efficient as you can because you want to tell Google if these are good leads or not. If you're just contacting these leads and, hey, you're closing some, you're not closing others, 
you want to give Google that information. Like if this was a good lead, I want to let Google know that because they're going to take this archetype and they're actually going to send more leads your way that match the same profile that this is, right? So you obviously want to get as many leads as possible based off of that criteria. You don't want to just not manage these leads and have them stack up and pile up. I have horror stories where there's like 20 or 30 leads that are not answered and the client's like, oh, well, why am I not getting any leads anymore? Well, I'll tell you why you weren't managing the leads like we told you to manage. And now Google's kind of confused because they're sending all these leads to this profile and they're not being managed properly. So that's why you're not getting as many leads as you once did before you uh, had the opportunity to manage everything, right? So just take that with you because I think it's really, really important as time goes on, you need to make sure that these leads are being managed properly. I, I can't say that enough, all right? Um, as you can see here, we'll just kind of run down this laundry list here, policy manager. So cool, don't have any policy violations, awesome. If you did, it would show up here and you would have to deal with it. Um, if you go to reports, you can see there is a list of impressions of leads that came through. Uh, all these different things. Again, like I said, for this account, it's been a while. Um, so if I go to custom and if I go to <clears throat> February of this year and I go to, I don't know, maybe July 1st, right? You can see there were, you know, this number of impressions, this amount of leads, phone call leads six, message leads two, uh, spent about you know, 500 top impression rate and the absolute top impression rate. This is very, very important because this is actually very, very low compared to what you want. So this percentage is actually the percentage of times your Google local service ads profile shows up number one in the ad that they're Googling. So for instance, if someone Googles real estate agent in Philadelphia, right? If my profile shows up first, it's gonna count towards this percentage. So unfortunately for this person, 3% of the time they were actually getting excuse me, um, you know, uh, at the top of Google, which is not good, right? And they were managing it themselves. I'm not going to, you know, blame this person, but we got a little bit of a snag. So that's why it's not as high as some of these ones that are, you know, 60, 70, 80%, right? That are actually dominating the area, right? So you go to reports, you'll see that. You go to reviews, you'll see all the reviews that one can find on this profile, which is pretty cool. Um, you can ask for reviews, which is nice. You can see all the reviews here, which are pretty cool. Profile and budget. So what you'll do is you'll go to this tab where you can see all the information. You can see the job types, the bidding strategy, everything uh, that's to be associated with this. You can add photos. You can uh, toggle whether you want to just get emails or whether you just want to get text messages, change up the job types, change up all the information, whatever you want to do, right? This is where you can honestly... Um, have the most bang for your buck by managing everything uh, the way it's supposed to. So adding photos, adding a good headshot, um, adding a good budget, making sure all this business information is appropriate. Okay. Um, next, so you just go to billing. Uh, maybe I won't show that actually because probably gonna have some sensitive information there. But anyway, you guys see pretty much what I'm looking uh, for and what I'm looking at. So you guys, you know, get a good understanding of what is good, what is not good. Um, and I think for every, you know, whether you're a contractor, real estate agent, doctor, whatever the case is, it's like anything. If you manage it well, you're gonna get results. If you're kind of being lackadaisical and lazy, you're not gonna get that much results. Or maybe you will, but you're not gonna you know, get good results moving forward. So you wanna make sure guys, if you're running Google local service ads, make sure that you're optimizing it accordingly with what I talked about, right? One of the easiest ways to get more leads on Google local service ads is making sure you're adding as many photos as you can, you're adding as many reviews as possible, and you have a pretty hefty budget as well. I would recommend overspending, honestly, for the first month. This way, Google can get into a good pattern of saying, oh, this person's spending a lot of money, let's throw leads their way. This way you can close more deals and ultimately have more money to even spend on those ads in the first place, right? You wanna make sure your job types are on point. Don't bid for a job type that you aren't doing. Since so many people do that, it's not obviously an efficient use of your money. Um, business bio, make sure you have a really appropriate bio here. If you speak Spanish, toggle this. If you have military discounts, if you're a minority owned business, um, if you have flat rate pricing, whatever the case is, if you have free parking, that's a good incentive for people to you know check your stuff out. So make sure you're optimizing this guys because the more information you give Google, the more leads they're gonna give you. That's really it, right? Um, and then you can see the hours of operation, the service areas here, and that's really it. So guys, Momentum, we obviously set this up for different people, clients, et cetera. Um, we specialize in it. We've been doing it for about 10 years now, you know, a decade. 
Um, and it's one of those things where this is actually one of the most powerful things that you can actually be doing to grow your business in 2024. So if you're a blue collar business owner, service area provider, I would highly recommend checking this out. I definitely think it's right up your wheelhouse. If you already have a uh, Google business profile, you definitely need to check out Google local service ads. If you have any questions, you can just email me, go to Sean at needmomentum.com, or you can call our number where I will also answer at 215-607-6482. You can text that number, you can call that number, email me, and I will answer any questions you have. Whether you're a real estate agent, doctor, Momentum just doesn't do virtual tours and photos and videos. We also obviously do a lot of uh, Google local service ads and Google marketing and advertising. This is the next step up, obviously, to get you and your business more leads. All right, well guys, I hope that was very helpful. If you enjoyed any of the content, please hit that like button below, comment below. If you have any questions, I will personally answer them and hit that subscribe button. I see a lot of people who are watching these videos that aren't subscribed, that's a huge problem. So make sure you can hit subscribe. We're on that way to 10,000 followers. So very, very excited for that. And you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful in setting up your Google local service ads account. And then if you have any questions, Email me, call me, and I will be able to answer any questions that you have. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.